Yes, 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 Ryan Celestine here from RyanCelestine.com and I just want to share one of my experiences with you and at the age of 23 I don't have a whole lot of experiences but I've been fortunate to have some amazing experiences and I ran my first marathon back in November of 06 and it was the most challenging, most difficult thing I've ever done but it was the greatest experience and race day came along and it was awesome because my dad he was running the same race and this was the first time that we actually ran a, a, a large race together and we didn't stay together but it was just awesome to know that we were together in spirit on the course and things like that it, it was pretty cool and you know mile three comes around I'm feeling great you know it's still a little cold I'm still I'm not really warmed up yet um, but I'm, I'm feeling good Mile 8 rolls around, I'm warm, you know, I, I got my Under Armour off, I, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go, I feel great, I pose for the camera, you know, I'm smiling for my girlfriend and, and, and for my grandpa that took a picture of me, I, I feel fantastic. You know, so I, Mile 10 rolls around, and uh, something happened to me that I wasn't ready for. I got a cramp in my shoulder, and I had never experienced that. I mean, I played soccer and basketball, you know, pretty much my entire life and ran cross country and track my senior year of high school, and I never had a shoulder cramp. I didn't even know what to do, so I just kept running and just tried to, you know, move it out, or I didn't know what to do. And that finally went away. Um, mile 13, I was right on target to do 8-minute pace. I was right at an hour and 45 minutes. I was feeling, feeling great, except for the shoulder, um, but, but feeling pretty good. Mile 15 rolled around and I got sick. I, I, you know, I had to stop and, and find a bathroom. And I, I had stopped for about 10 minutes. And when I started running again, my legs had just kind of tightened up on me. And I was extremely, extremely tight and I was also cold because I didn't have my Under Armour on anymore. So I'm battling the cold, I'm battling my muscles. And again, something I'd never experienced before. Didn't know what to do, didn't know how to fix it. And I saw my grandpa and my girlfriend again at mile 18, and uh, I just I ran by shaking my head like this because I just I knew I was so behind, and, and there was nothing I could do. I was giving it my all, and I was just barely getting by. By the time mile 20 rolled around, um, I I couldn't I couldn't run. Uh, I was barely able to walk, and um, I walked for about two miles, um, and and struggled struggled two miles um, I ended up stopping for about 20 minutes um, and just trying to stretch it out and nothing was happening and uh, you know we get to uh, you know mile um, mile 22 and uh, I hear this woman you know she's like Ryan I'm like huh who's that and it was a woman I, I went to church with and she's like Ryan are you already done I'm like no you know like I I'm not even close you know I mean four miles left that's that's close but She's like, what? I figured you'd be done by now. And she's like, well, you know, let's let's run together. And and she encouraged me and inspired me to run. And I had been trying those two miles. I didn't walk because I was tired. I walked because I could not move my legs. I mean, I even started walking in the grass because the concrete was hurting my knees and my shins and my feet so bad. I, I was walking on the grass. And she was like, you know, Ryan, if, if we run or at least jog, we'll get there faster. I'm like, okay. You know, so me and, and this woman from church and one of her friends, you know, we all just started running together. And she encouraged me and inspired me just to keep going and not give up. And I hadn't given up yet, but I, I was sad. I was down. And the, the two miles that I walked was the hardest two miles of the entire marathon because I could not run. I tried. I tried so hard to run, and I couldn't. It, it hurt. It, every part of my body ached and it hurt to run and to walk and I just remember picturing myself crossing the finish line walking and I was so sad and so discouraged and I was just thinking wow Ryan what have you got yourself into you know this is the worst idea you've ever had to do a marathon I'm never gonna do one of these again and it was just because I was struggling so bad and you know when she came by and helped me out when when she when she encouraged me and inspired me just to to try it again to get out there and, and keep running and try it again i started running and jogging and and my legs they started loosening up and i started feeling good and she had to stop and stretch and i knew if i stopped that i wasn't going to keep going so i just i kept going and and, and she, with her help and her encouragement I kept going. My last mile was back at nine minute mile pace. And so I was starting to get back the momentum in that drive. 
and all I needed was just someone to give me a little encouragement and a little inspiration and when I crossed the finish line it was the greatest feeling ever I mean it felt so good to cross the finish line such a feeling of accomplishment and joy and just pure emotion my family was there and they were proud of me and it, it was an awesome feeling and, you know my time was, uh, was, was four hours and thirty minutes and my, my time I was shooting for was three and a half and for my first marathon you know I wasn't disappointed at all I was excited because I never gave up I got in there I kept fighting I gave it my all and never quit and still looking back at, you know to this day looking back at the marathon there was nothing I really could have changed because every moment of the race I gave it my all and I did my best I never never gave up now I wanted to when I was walking but I never gave up and I just wanted to share that experience with you because I mean that's had a major impact on my life you know when you never give up you'll reach that goal you'll reach the finish line in life and sometimes you know when the road is rough you're gonna need that person to help you out and give you give you a helping hand not a handout but a helping hand and inspire you and encourage you to keep going and not give up and I just wanna let you know right now you know whatever you're facing in life you know whether it's in life or in business if you're in troubled times and you're going through a lot and you're hurting and it's painful and you just want to quit just don't give up because you always will finish the race as long as you keep going if you're walking if you're running if you're jogging if you're crawling as long as you never stop you will finish the race of life and I just want to give you that special message and, and that word of encouragement and uh, you know suggest I suggest that you su subscribe to my uh, my videos um, I'm always putting out their training videos for, for life and for business. Also, look me up on MySpace, myspace.com forward slash Ryan Celestine. Add me as a friend, send me a message, let me know what kind of things you're facing in life, and we can talk about how we can take your life and your business to the absolute next level. And last, feel free to give me a call. I look forward to you know networking and meeting people from all over the world. Again, this is Ryan Celestine. I look forward to talking with you. I look forward to working with you very, very soon. Have a fantastic day.